Hello everyone, welcome to RPA Learners and in this video we are going to see how to create a list and add items to that list using OpenRPA. So let's go ahead and uh, open the OpenRPA and here is our OpenRPA studio and here we have an empty sequence. First we need to create a list and then we need to add items to that list right. So first let's go ahead and create a variable which is list let's call this as rpa list so we have a list here and we need to change the variable type and if you go to browse for types and if you type system dot um, collections uh, you can see that here and you can select the list item here from here and if you click on ok okay uh, we need to select the type as well let's say it is a string let's click on okay it is a list of strings and we got the variable now uh, the first thing is we need to initialize the list so let's go ahead and initialize um, the list let's say rpa list rpa list and here let's do this new new list new list of our list is of string type right let's go ahead and give that now we initialize our list now how to add items now we have the list it doesn't have any items so how to add items to this list and go to tool here yeah, and type list or uh, not the list type the collections and then you can see these four uh, activities here one is add to collections so we are going to add values to the collections firstly you need to check for the properties panel and change the type of argument to string because we are given as a list of strings so we are passing a string items and then we need to pass the collection which is rpa list which is rpa list here and then we need to pass the item let's say i want i i will pass as Aditya. so it has a string and now uh, we have one uh, variable right so let's go ahead and see uh, whether we are able to successfully add this or not let's uh, write it in the right line and what we are going to write we are going to write rpa list dot count we are going to get the count of it and make it as a string in order to write it in the right line let's save this and let's execute this and see whether we are able to create a list and then add items to that list if you click on play uh, execution is completed if you can you can see that here let's go to the output panel and if you see here the output is one and the collection items is added here uh, but let's um, go here and let me close this for your reference let's write some variable or some string what we found and let's uh, save this and execute this again and it is completed and now let's go here and see uh, you can, if you can see there is rpa count is one because there is only one uh, variable that is already there so let's copy this let's paste this again and let's try to execute this again let's see this time we need to get it as two right and if you see here the count is two so we are able to add two more two items into the list so this is how um, you create a list and add those values in that list and that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching